Hello everybody, I'm Peter Grop and today I'm giving you a little theory prediction for upcoming season of LEGO Next Night. And that one being, is Ava going to be Paula? Now, the first thing that a lot of people are going to say, how could Ava be Paula? I mean that's just a crazy theory. I mean, Paula is a, is a regular minifigure girl. Ava ha is a figure with, a sm with those small legs. Paula's hair, Ava's hair is longer than Paula's. And, and, po and it doesn't end. Why would Paula change? And why would Ava change her name to Paula and not just keep it like Jastro has? I understand those questions. Hell, this thing wouldn't, doesn't even hold any merits because it only came from. From the fact that Ava doesn't appear in any of the new, the maybe final wave of Lego Naxonites. But I decided that this, but after I looked about it a little more and think about it, it isn't quite possible. Like for starters, let's just go about the appearance wise, wise shall we? Now, the appearance wise, it's possible because it's an infection. I mean, not. And if people are gonna get infected by and turn into these virus in vampire people, having Ava and Paula looking like becoming looking like that would make sense. I mean, I don't exactly see any reasons why not, not, oh, and all that, and the whole hair thing. As far as we know, Ava could have that, could have that style be her normal hairstyle in the next season. I mean, we don't even get. Um, I mean, we don't exactly know how she would look like in the next season. So as far as we know, that makes sense. Now the next thing. Now the whole size thing. Consider the fact that Robin is, has his, is now be a regular. Figure the fact that you know he, he doesn't have those small legs like he had in previous se waves sets he appeared in does say something. So it's not all that hard to believe that like Rob and Ava just grew to the size that a regular figure is, which would make her infection pretty understandable. Size thing pretty understandable. Now the whole naming thing. I mean, it is kind of weird because as far as I believe, there isn't a single character outside of this one that actually has the name Paula, so it's possible that they just, whoever changed it, and I don't exactly think that Paula could just be a random girl that appeared out of nowhere considering the fact that he's supposed to be an infection Spain. So, it is possible that Ava just changed that. Hell, apparently every it's not like the villains have exactly spotless record when they become good and evil. I mean Rina definitely did keep her name kept her name and it is possible that Rina could change could infect it's also infect herself so she won't be a stoned stone, but that's way way of the track. But yeah, it is possible. I mean, Monstrux, when he was a book, he called himself Book of Monsters, and then when he was Cloud, he called himself a Cloud of Monstrux. And Jastro, the Jastro didn't really change his name, but it's, but I believe he actually had a lightning when he was Electro in his previous wave, so it is possible that Ava would change her name to Paula. And... Though it's kind of nah, though it's kind of hard to say specifically, it would make a lot more sense for Ava to be evil in the next season because she is one of the main reasons why Monstrux constantly loses because she constantly downloads the powers. Also, I do see it playing through, like Ava being incredibly tired of being pushed to the side because now Murloc and Luck and Clay would get, would be, you know, be more effective because they could do that automatically now. So she would feel a bit let, let down, 
left out of st stuff. And as far as we know, she doesn't have any parents outside, any parents, and she probably would lives in a castle so, or, and the fortress, so it's kind of hard to say with her specifically. But yeah. So she feels a bit let down. Then we know, uh, and much of know about her because honest to God, I'm pretty sure, sure at least they should find out about her about this point. They locate her, they infect her, then they use, and then she becomes Paula, and then they use Paula, la, aka Ava, to download Munch trucks to the system, and then he takes over and he becomes in charge. Which, if you ask me, is pretty logical. Logical. I mean, Ava, I mean, how will Munch, I mean, how do we even expect, I mean, we got sad. We had the whole thing revealed, but here's the one thing we don't know. How the hell can it, can monstrux from a crystal with a light with and a, and a stone woman or a stone witch and resolve about resolved in every single machine piece with an army of robotic spiders in an infected army. I mean, granted, I don't... Uh, granted, I know I said that they infect Ava, but that would exactly be easier on one person directly than somehow infect everything. So yeah, that does make sense, if you ask me. Now, now I hope you like this video. I hope you're gonna leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Also, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I don't own any of these free images. All of them belong to the rightful owners, and I'm just using them to make these videos better. And that that's it. I hope you people are going to be telling me in the comments what you people think of this theory. And I hope you're gonna leave a like and subscribe to my channel and share these videos. There's just with your family and friends. And that's it. I cannot wait to see all of you people next time. Bye.